let the right one in is officially canceled. Why? Why are always the good shows canceled after one freaking season? You can't give them two seasons. You can't give them three. But no, but we still get the Kardashians on television. We still get so many crappy superhero shows that will have five, six seasons. You'll have so many TV shows with woke political garbage and it'll keep on forever. But yet, we can't get one TV show that focuses on the story and focuses on the characters. And it, uh, for, and it more or less does not sacrifice anything for a greater political message. So, this TV show, Let the Right One, I just reviewed this entire TV show. I just reviewed it. And I was begging for a season two. I did not want this thing to be canceled. Lo and behold, another like, what, two months since it's aired, it's canceled. The cast was great. The relationship was unique. It was a different adaption to the Swedish film, to the book, to the American film. And I found it engaging. This is one of the few, I was saying in my review, this is one of the few TV show adaptions that actually respected the old source material. But yet, Willow will probably get a season two. Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power, that garbage TV show, is going to get a season two. Let the right one in. Will not. It. This is a. This is outstandingly bullshit, to me. This show with such good writing, such good storytelling, is not being. It was hardly advertised. This show, by the way, this show was hardly advertised, and sometimes certain shows they only need two or three seasons. To wrap up the show, I'm like, why couldn't you have two, three seasons to wrap up the storyline? I cared for a lot of characters. I cared for Ellie. I cared about her relationship with her father. I cared about her best friend. I cared about her best friend's, uh, the best friend's mother. I cared about every single character. I cared about all of them. And the fact is that these characters will not have a send-off for a season two or season three. It's just atrocious. This is was hands down... One of the better shows of 2022. It ended in December. I watched it off Showtime off of Hulu. And I was just like, my God. I'm so glad I took the time out to watch 8 to 10 episodes of season 1. Just so I could now uh, be so disappointed that fact there's no season 2. No doubt about it. If Let, if let the Right One In doesn't get picked up, I'm just going to say this. This is hands down one of the best vampire shows that deserves more. If it doesn't get picked up within a year, we all know it's canceled officially. And the fact is, this is by far not only a terrible decision, but Let's Write One will go down in my personal history as one of the best TV shows that only got it one season. This show was utterly fantastic, and it's a damn shame that we are not going to get the characters. Uh, the character story is not going to be filled out. Uh, we're not going to have any more plot lines. Or all the stuff that we love and enjoyed in the first season is just totally erased by the fact is you ain't going to get a satisfying conclusion. Season 1 could be its own ending. You could have fan fictions. You could have leave to, to your own imagination about what happened. But let the right one in is officially canceled. And I am greatly, greatly disappointed by it. What did y'all think of Let the Right One End Season 1? Did y'all see the show? Are you disappointed by it? If you are all wondering, like, man, should I really took a, or surely should watch that show even though it was cancer after one season? Yes, because it was just that damn good. Let the Right One End is officially canceled and it's sad to say I am just so disappointed. But it is what it is. Signing, I'm signing off, y'all. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.